we are live. Hello, gang. This is Peter Palmiotti. I'm joined with Kevin Keen. Kenny Keen. Oh, Kevin. no. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Keen. I think Kevin Keen is having a lot more success than Kenny, though, here lately. No, no. They uh, named me Kevin at the last uh, convention I went to, and I did really <laughs> well. So I'm <laughs> changing right. my name. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try. Uh, hangouts aren't the best for doing uh, for showing off traditional pencils and inks. Um, but I wanted to to uh, try something different on my uh, YouTube, and since uh, I got a couple of requests to do a uh, comic book inking tutorial. Um, this will be first attempt. If this works out at all, I'll be continuing these in the future uh, with Kenny, if he wants, with other uh, artists. Um, but also, I'll do more um, like straightforward tutorial type videos as well, um, especially uh, concerning comic book inking. Uh, so this was, a, you know, I asked uh, Kenny to uh, do up a pencil drawing for us to uh, work off of, and uh, he put together this awesome drawing to which I butchered and, and penciled uh, on my own. Let's see if I can get, and yeah, it is my butchered version. <laughs> oh, Those inks are going to bring it to life, though. Don't uh, <laughs> sweat it, man. So That's the first I, time I've seen you draw a Slayer, to, actually. There you go. <laughs> um, so I can see I can see the, uh, the pencil drawing in my screen. So I, I can go more by that than my lousy quick pencils. Um, and Kenny, Kenny's tried to get his, uh, his video crystal clear, but unfortunately it's, it's a little blurry. But we're just going to go ahead and like start inking and just talk about inking and uh, have a little fun along the way and hopefully uh, you learn a thing or two. Um, at the very least, you might just <clears throat> be entertained. <laughs> I think um, maybe if, once I start laying down blacks, I may can zoom out and you may be able to see it better then. Well, I'll, I'll just inch it away a little bit as I go and see. If not, I'll you know put it back down close. Let's see what uh, develops as we go. All right, so. I'm a, I'm a twirler. Um, so I'm going to be twirling around. I've watched a lot of uh, Scott Circling videos. Um, he does Fan Art Fridays. He does. Uh, just a lot of drawing videos now. Um, he's awesome anchor for camera. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, uh, I watched the Ninja Turtles the other day. That's the last one I've seen. They come out really good. Well, it was Leonardo. Yeah. I think he just put a new one up today, uh, Doctor Who. Nice. Yeah, I watched the Doctor Who one. I should mention that, uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm just fudging this drawing. This, I'll do a better one <laughs> one day. But, uh, um, I've been doing my Inktober pieces and posting those, and I'm way behind. 
Um, I'll probably have a new one tomorrow. Uh, just lots of chaos and client work and whatnot. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna. I usually talk in in the videos and, and tell people uh, what I've been up to. So I'll definitely do that. I think there's going to be our casters tomorrow night with uh, Jeff Lefferty. Um, if that's the case, then I'll be there. I've been not doing the Studio Synergy. That might, you know, be the case for this month of November. Um, Just, uh, I got too much going on. You know, I did some graphic design, and I'm doing some character design work, uh, which I'll probably continue to do throughout this week. Um, that, between that and family and had my kitty cat injured last night. This sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. It's like kids, aren't they? They are. <laughs> like kids can't really take care of themselves, and neither can cats, really, to a certain point. <laughs> um, I'm actually uh, was in the process that may be done now. Was uploading my Drawing Dead episode one, so should be up within you know the next thirty minutes or so. It's pretty long though. It's uh, about a forty minute video. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to get that in sync with the uh, before the show came on tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Sunday evening, so it's Walking Dead. Nothing but Walking Dead. I think everybody just puts their life on hold Sunday nights. <laughs> I know used to. Didn't really matter if I was out somewhere. But now it's like I gotta be in front of the TV. Don't want to miss the episode. What is up with my brush? My brush is forking. Oh, man. No. Yeah, it's a new brush, too. Yes, yeah, I'm using a new one, too, the one I was complaining about. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting used to it. But it's just because it's a high-dollar brush, you know. Poor people not used to, you know, handling such nice things. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had pretty good luck out of the cheap brushes. I think, you know, I use Winsor Newton, um, which normally I prefer. Um, I think Raphael um, was the best brush I ever used. Oh, really? I um, heard uh, a few people talking about that, but I've never, never tried one. Um, I think it's more expensive than a Winsor Newton. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I bought one. I tend to, uh, you know, I buy everything online now because there's nothing in my neck of the woods. Yeah, I had to buy my Windsor Newton online. There's nothing around. Hobby Lobby. I don't even think they have them no more. The one I, I go to doesn't anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, when it comes to like inking my own over my own pencils, you know, obviously I, I don't really do finished pencils. 
I mean, one day I will, but um, yeah, I've been inking for so long. I make all my adjustments in the inking stage, and now I'm just sort of laying down some lines. I think for a long time I was kind of the same way. If you know, if I knew I was inking my own work, and I slacked on the details in my pencils, but I'm trying to get better at that. Yeah, it's it's something I'm gonna you know work on down the line. You know, I mean, right now I just want to do good finished work. Um, so my, my pencils are as tight as I'm going to make them for the moment, but once I, uh, start getting more in the rhythm, I'm going to start, um, really working on doing tighter and tighter pencils. I would like to, somewhere down the line, be able to uh, pencil some comic pages and have somebody else see them. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, cause I wouldn't mind doing, you know, doing a couple of short stories or a book here and there as a pencil or alone, as opposed to, you know, a thousand times I did it as an anchor alone. <laughs> <laughs> I've had um, I've written several stories for other artists and uh, like uh, our buddy Lyle Pollard and <laughs> I've noticed when I write, man, I go crazy with the detail and uh, I really put them through the ringer. But if uh, I'm drawing it myself <laughs> and I know that, I've noticed I've uh, tended in the past to hold back on that stuff. So something I'm trying to work towards, you know. Pushing myself, but yeah, I know yeah. he complained. He did um, X Pulse uh, that the books we did years ago, and I had helicopters. It seemed like right. every every few pages there was a helicopter, and he said, "Man, I learned how to draw a <laughs> helicopter just by, <laughs> you know, just by doing this book here." He said, "You went helicopter crazy." <laughs> And I don't know what's up with this brush. Um, I have, let's see if I can get this on camera. It's a brush cleaner, which I use. I, I dip uh, my brushes in it, and I really, depending on how long you keep it in the solution, um, Gets the ink off a brush. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta break a brush in. I find, you know, to really get it to where you want it to be. Like, you know, sort of like when it comes to traditional inking uh, tools and whatnot. You gotta. I've never used, a bit. Yeah, I've never used brush cleaner other than like uh, just use water and shampoo when I dip it. Water and shampoo works. I mean, even you know, just like bar soap or yeah, um, something like that. But. Uh, yeah, because this one's giving me a twin point, and that really, really oh, pisses man. me off. <laughs> this sucks. So. I'm trying to twirl it into shape, but it's ignoring me. <laughs> You're the master, man. You'll get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that wasn't a joke. <laughs> You're too modest, Peter. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything I do is awesome. Yeah, but... You know, I have the ability <clears throat> to uh, do good inks, but, you know, really it's like who you're working off of. Um, definitely. Oh, yeah. Makes a difference. You know, and that, that's why it's like harder for me to ink myself than for all the years I've inked other people. It's like my pencils are crappy compared to a lot of the guys I worked on. <laughs> well, just practice, man. You came a long ways when you first uh, yeah. started doing everything. Yeah. Well, you know, it's. It's uh, I like to say everything is practice, practice, practice. Um, I'm getting more comfortable, and it's it's sort of like, you know, you just sit down and map out your page and pencil your page and ink your page and and go to the next one and so on and so on and um. You make improvements along the way, that's for sure. You know, I just like, you know, when I started, ah, this double point is killing me. Um, when I started inking, I knew I sucked, but I also knew, like, in my gut that I could eventually do a real good job. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. yeah it's showing up a little better now. Looks like we got an audience of one. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're on fire. I didn't really announce it other than posting the event and telling people about it way too early. You know, yeah. if you want people to come to an event, you, you tell them when it's happening, not a day before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I'm getting in here. Everything's quiet on the internet. That's cool. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to your uh, drawing dead video. What's what's your uh, YouTube channel's name? Um, YouTube channel is uh, just Kenny King. Let me and make sure. I don't know if there's a gap in between that or. But, uh, I think I, you know yeah, we had I an option. Yeah, they gave us an option to name them a while back, and I think it's uh, yeah, just Kenny King, same as my name. I name my channel, but it doesn't. It only shows up right if you go to my about section. Oh, really? If I yeah. click, I know what you're saying. Um, yeah. If I actually click on click on home, then I think it'll it pops up. I mean, if I hit my channel, I don't see it. But then when I click on my home link, well, yeah, actually, all my Home video playlist, all that it shows up. But I think when I first hit channel, at one time I remember it was just a bunch of numbers, letters. Yeah, that's what I get. 
Yeah. Maybe you have to. But it, you know, settings or something. All right. I don't know. They changed things so many times. I, I think when I officially made my channel, um, I got it wrong for some reason. Uh. And that's why it only shows up when you go to the about section. Oh, okay. But nonetheless, maybe I'll fix it one day. Figure out. Yeah, you got plenty of time right here. You're just sitting around doing nothing all day. <laughs> you stay busy, don't you? <laughs> I don't see how you do what you do, man. With all the stuff you're into. Oh. Uh, you know, I have the problem of a lot of uh, creative people where they take on more than they can handle <laughs> and don't actually finish things, so... Ah, I'm guilty too. <laughs> I don't even know what all people can see here. I think my hands cover most of it. Don't cover it up. That's difficult. Give away my <laughs> setups. More professional like setups where you can um, see what we're doing. Like that's why uh, I think Jeff has his off to the side. You can actually see everything he does. Yeah, it's makes a lot of I was, sense. I was thinking about doing that. Um, I don't. You know, I I have to change my whole, you know, table design. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this was kind of a, like when you told me, I didn't have a camera prop set up yet, so I had to kind of rig one up. But uh, it might be pretty good if the camera would just uh, do right. I think I might have to get a new, a little better webcam. Could be like you said too, the Google Hangouts. Maybe it may show up better on Skype, like you said. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, if I continue this show, uh, definitely think uh, Skype would work better. Plus, then you know, I can actually just edit the video and whatnot. Um, this I'm going to slap onto my channel. Well, I don't actually have to do anything. It's going to be up <laughs> after this ends. Uh, but, let's see. Come on, brush. What the hell? Do what I say. I'm trying to zoom this thing out a little.
It's looking good, Peter. This is why people do speed drawings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they draw a data <laughs> thing. I inked uh, Rick Grimes. It took me, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. It's all sped up. I think it's about 40 minutes total now on the video. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with this brush. It's just not cooperating at all. Yeah. All right. Let me I'll throw down some outlines. Just call it. <laughs> Let's see. It's much easier like to, to work on a drawing like this, which has a lot of bold lines and, and shadows and Oh yeah. To do it with a brush. Um you know, like I love thinking with a quill. <clears throat> which I think I'm going to switch to, even though it's not really, the, this drawing isn't really calling for a quill with it. Yeah, I've, so I played around with problems. them years ago. <laughs> um, I finally got decent at them, but I still prefer to brush. Well, I really, you know, when I first used quill, um, it was really a pain to use, and I had to force myself to use it. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say I prefer one over the other. Really, you know, it's it's what the artwork calls for. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's almost that I have to use both to do anything I'm working on. Yeah, I definitely like the, uh, hatch lines from a quill a lot better, a lot cleaner looking line, but it's just, I've never been a, I don't know, I guess, it's one of those things I just had to keep working with, not my hand's not steady as it needs to be when it comes to the quill. But you'd think using a brush would be worse, right? For uh, what? For doing, well, doing the uh, hatch lines. I'm always, uh, I don't think my hand's steady enough for the quill. I don't know, you got to be... Uh... See, it's like there's, there's tons of... You know, when I'm inking, um, I don't normally think about what I'm doing, which is like... Doing a tutorial, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like yeah, it puts a well, good. It's a spotlight <laughs> on you for sure. We don't. <laughs> I'm not used to this either. Um, it's not like a hundred day video where I can just uh, pause it and do a retake. There are no retakes here. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm 
not really doing any drawing justice, but that's okay. <laughs> it's serving its purpose, right? Apologize if people was having trouble seeing this. Every now and then I try to look up and adjust it. <laughs> One yeah, second. it's really blurry. But... Yeah, I like to say is it's like <clears throat> it's great for. People talking on a show. It's great for digital artwork. Um, but when it comes to traditional, G Plus Hangouts just aren't. Hmm. Aren't happening. Good thing about those heavy blacks, huh, Peter? We can kind of cut a lot of corners with that and save some time. <laughs> I'm about to break out the big brush on this here in a second. discussed inking in my videos but you gotta like really look for it or just watch all my videos <laughs> which you can <laughs> that's right um, but you know it's like I would like to have it you can just go to a playlist and say I want to learn about comic book inking Yeah, I guess there's there's some guys out there that's trying to cover everything. You know, I. I when I'm making other people, I like to clean, keep things as, as clean as possible. Um, you know, like, almost like... <clears throat> Terry Orson did a lot of really clean ink work and... Yeah. Or, like, the, the other side of Spectrum, Joe Sinnott. Um... You know, when I ink myself, you know, which is like this, this is your drawing, but like I'm inking over my own lousy pencils. Um, it's like I, I feel compelled to uh, go dirty to make up for the poor drawing. <laughs> I 
Oh man, you uh, definitely getting there for sure. I can see a big improvement. And it's kind of like there's a lot of like I'm, you know, I'm the opposite of you. I feel like I'm stronger at pencils, but you know, my inks, you know, aren't where I want them to be. Definitely, but uh, I feel like I can eat my own stuff okay, but. There's a lot I can learn and uh, to improve on and better my stuff, you know. What they say, um, good ink or makes a bad pencil look good and vice versa. Yeah. Uh, you know, nowadays you need a full team of, of good people. You know, it's like the color books and whatnot. You got yeah. three. You got three different artists. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and any one of them that are good, you know, if if the penciling nuts are are not so great, an anchor and colors can improve upon it. Um, but if it's a boring design and storytelling, then there's nothing. <laughs> that right. Could be done about that. Um, yeah, this this drawing, my drawing needs a lot. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, <laughs> this is this is really experiment. Want to learn about anything? I don't know if you should watch this video, but <laughs> I'm sure it'll help somebody. Now let's see. Make sure your tools are working properly. Um, my brush was working before. It's just you know. It's, you need to spend some time with it if it goes all wonky. Had the same out as well. You know, one thing I would say is like <clears throat> it's easy to do clean line work. Like, like you don't have to do perfectly long strokes as long as you can you have the ability to pick up a line and continue with it like a lot of my perfect line work that is really long is just me pushing a line further out. If you know what I'm saying, it's like... Just kind of pull it, you know, stop and drag it a little further. Yeah. Yes, yeah, his, his head is terrible. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <coughs> it's a different style, man. Everybody's got their own. <laughs> Actually, years ago, I did a uh, pinup book, and I got a lot of different artists to do uh, their take on Slayer. And uh, it's pretty cool to see different styles.
I've been hearing my sons, two sons in there, it's not like they're fighting. It's like maybe they know uh -oh. I'm occupied at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Kids usually have that kind of radar. Yeah. Yeah, ink inking can be tough. I mean, you know, really what it comes down to is your ability to do clean line work. Not that you always do it. All right. Um, it really depends on the drawing and the style. But if you can do clean line work, then you can, you know, fix things. And you know, if you're so, if your style leans towards messy. Like another artist I love is like Bill Sinkevich, and he's like <clears throat> master of just really sketchy illustration work. Yeah, some people make it look good. Yeah. Like I watched, um, you ever hear of Rocketeer? Uh, yeah. Like an old pulp? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, they made it to a movie, but it was a, it was a, a character created by uh, Dave Stevens, um, who died too young. Um, but he used to do a lot of sexy women, uh, his comic rocketeer and, and uh, just a lot of illustration work um, and he had such clean perfect precise lines um, but you know he he was one of those slow artists who yeah would spend way too long on a picture or a page or whatever he was working on. Um, but you, you got to admire that. Yeah. More time you put into something, normally you get uh, more detail. 
Because it's not always. Yeah, I know, like, I'm overworking this piece, but <laughs> I'm just sort of like, I'm committed to at the point where, like, it's it's not going to be a perfect drawing, and I'm just I'm just aching. I'm just you know it's not for the yeah it's picture. serving its purpose. Um, I see a lot of guys just do basic stuff when they're doing tutorials. It's true. It's like here is a box. Even Jim Lee, I see some of his stuff. He does at yep. shows at cons. And um, he just does like basic shapes, and like yeah, that's Superman there, just to kind of give you an <laughs> idea, you know, of how the eye works and everything's a shape. I'm sure, just by seeing that, it tells me that he probably he probably puts a lot of time into each page, and I don't know what what his turnaround is on him, but just seeing him just quick sketching like that, I would say it takes him a while. Oh yeah, Jim, Jim's not a fast artist, but you know, it's, his pages aren't uh, that light either. It's yeah. a lot of work to what he does, you know, figure work and a lot of his pages have Good amount of background and yeah, uh, definitely he loves shadow and uh, line work. Yeah, <laughs> I don't love this, but um, it's like a yeah, I think it looks pretty good, man. <laughs> Too kind. I almost feel like doing something else. Um. <laughs> you um, have you started on those? Um, uh, was it a uh, Hellboy? You had uh, put on Facebook. Oh no, I didn't. Um, he's doing a bunch of pinups. It's a very, um, he's known as, uh, Stay Broke, I guess is his studio oh, yeah, yeah. name. And, uh, Barry McLean, I believe is his last name. Really nice kid. Um, counter artist. And we're going to do a series of pinups together. And um, so he's been posting a bunch of them. There's uh, Hellboy, which it looks like I'm definitely doing. Uh, there's a um, Jonah Hex. Um, I forget what else he did. Well, he posted a Daredevil, which looks like some people want me to ink that, um, and I might end up inking that. It was something else a while back he posted. I forget at the moment. But, you know, there's a, a talent to Penciler. Um, he, I think I met him originally on, on LinkedIn. And he's like, if you get a moment, check out my portfolio. And I checked out his portfolio, and he was on DeviantArt. And, um, really like his work and the kid does not stop he works every day he's busting out pages left and right and pinups and you know he's got multiple things going on but he does multiple pages a day yeah um, 
you know, it's definitely somebody I want to work for, work with, you know. Um, I like this one. So I we like decided. This yeah. We decided to just do pinups first. Um, you know, I'm going to do a, um, a Kickstarter for my character Retro for the first issue. I might actually do another book with that. Um, I don't know if you can see it. If, um, yeah, and have him pencil it and I'll ink it uh, with another character of mine that's actually going to be in the uh, retro universe. That sounds cool. Yeah, so. So it'll be like two comics for. Price of two comics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to work it out. Our, um, I, have, I have a lot of projects I put on the shelf, and I, I don't want to keep creating new ones. Um, but yeah, yeah, I understand. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna stay? Uh, what was it? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, uh, what? Talking about retro. Um, isn't issue one pretty much done or? Um, you had another guy well, pencil, right? Issue one is um, it's like ninety percent pencil, but I gotta I dabbled the inks. You know, I got like three pages done and some inks on a couple other pages, but uh, I keep you know shifting priorities. Um, So I gotta get that done. I was hoping to get the Kickstarter this year, but I don't want to do one like you know while Christmas is going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what it would be. Yeah, I'm definitely on board for it, man. Whenever you're ready to go, print. You gotta get my copy. Yeah. Um, you know, the whole thing was like. I can produce a good looking book, you know, that might not be uh, monthly or even bi monthly. But that potentially, you know, I could make it as professional looking as anything, you know, Image or Dark Horse or even Mall or DC would put out. Uh, I've got a lot to learn, you know. Um, yeah. But, you know, if all goes well, I'll have be publishing two books this year. And... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot for maybe four for next year and just keep plugging away. And, you know, I want Retro to be ongoing um, as well as, like, my webcomic, Bright Eyes, Neon Eden, and uh, uh, Blood. Um. <laughs> You're going to have a whole universe there, man. You're going to have to do a who's who. Of a human art studio universe. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's it's like any any uh, self publisher, small publisher. Um, you know, the way to do it is to have books that tie into each other. But, um, you know, my superhero titles will tie into each other. But other than that, uh, if anything. 
overlaps, it will just be small. Yeah. I get That's too crazy. Not, you're not trying to like turn into the Marvel Universe movie universe, are you? And have uh, all these stories intertwined. <laughs> they really on top of that. No, that's a, um, no. <laughs> Have you seen Universal Monsters? They're trying to do. Oh, are they? Uh, uh, like that. A, the same, pretty much time all together. Time all together, uh, but even like, you know, make them. Uh, action adventures rather than horror movies. Oh, really? So that, uh, you know, that's what would be one continuous, I guess, story. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, it could be interesting. I'm not sold. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, I don't. I think anything could be worth seeing, but is that the best option? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I've got this wrapped up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped <laughs> doing much. <laughs> to be days. fair, to be fair, if this was someone else's character or. It would take me a lot longer, but uh, <laughs> since it's uh, I'll do I'll it. Do and, a, I'll do a real version of yours one day. Cool. So I really like That's, the pencils. Uh, Maybe I should get a blue line, and you know, I don't I don't love doing blue line, but um, yeah, you know, it'd be. I can't mimic your pencils, so I think it will be easier. I don't know if you can see that really well. Who's, who's that cat in the back there? The cat in the back? Yeah. That's, that's his sidekick. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> but I, I figured uh, put something good on the bench. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was an experiment, and uh, it wasn't uh, the best for actually seeing the stuff on camera. Mine's mine's okay. I mean, even mine, I'm looking at it, and I'm, you know, I'm looking at it on screen, and I'm looking at it, what I did in front of me, and mine's not totally um, focused. It's better. You know, like, if I was to scan this and show it to you, you'd see the difference. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to push it forward, and yeah, you can't really see it. It's heavy blacks, so though. I think. I think yeah. <laughs> you like those heavy blacks? Yeah, I mean, um, they help, especially on camera. As far as like seeing it. What I what I use is um, I think a lot. You know, I have a mixture. I think. Um, a lot of the ink I'm using is black magic pigments. Um, but I also have uh, some pelican mixed in. Okay. Yeah. And pelican I love. It gives a really black, flat finish to it. It's not shiny. It looks like it's print. You know, I'm really yeah. picky with how black lays down, you can imagine. Um, you're the one that told me about Pelican, and uh, I actually picked up a bottle here. But um, it's, a, it's a lot it's better. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's like I went on Amazon. Yeah. 
Um, the, and I'm real uh, happy. I'm real happy with the way the inks are looking since I've started using it. I I can tell a big difference, and it don't uh, clot up a lot like the Speedball ink. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I don't like Speedball. Some people do, but. Um, but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's not as available as it used to be, but it's still available. Um, I would really like to pick up one in a big bottle. It's like eighty dollars by itself. And <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that's. I yeah. saw that. That's why I just got the small bottle. I think I paid. I don't know what size bottle it is. It's like a uh, two ounce. I'd have paid yeah. fifteen bucks for it, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. The small bottle. It may have been maybe ten. I ordered two bottles. So I can't remember. Oh, okay. I, th exactly yeah, I think they run five each or thereabouts. Um. I like it. Heck is this? 1.6 ounce, 30, 30 millimeters, or whatever. That language is. Um, yeah, it's just like the small little bottles, which is this. Oh, okay. You can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Pelican. Um, you just use that to uh, refill, right? What's that? You just use that like to refill it. Your ink. You've got like a big bottle too, well, right? I, 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 yeah, I have a big bottle, but I, I prefer working out of the small bottles. Right. You can control. Yeah. Uh, how dense the ink is, and yeah, you know, it's like I have, you know. I'm not so hardcore at the moment, but um, you know, I keep the quill ink a little waterier than the brush ink. Oh, really? Uh, so I, you know, it's with a quill, it's like it's ultra important that it runs smoothly and that it doesn't get clogged up. Um, you know, it's always yeah. like cleaning, uh, cleaning the the tip. You know, which I use my Exacto blade. Oh, okay. To, you know, to scrape off the excess ink on on the end of my quill. Um, yeah, you because know, it, it picks up fibers, it picks up little hairs flying around, whatever. Especially cats for um, so you constantly have to clean the tip of it. You know, some people use um, a rag or a paper towel. I prefer just to use the exacto blade. Oh, okay. And just scrape scrape the top of it. Um, Yeah, I used them years ago when I first started playing around with inks, and I think maybe it was the ink I was using, but it clotted like really bad, and you know how it'll spatter everywhere. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had a, didn't have a very good experience with it, but um, I've tried it with the uh, Pelican lately, and I can tell a difference. It's uh, it don't clog up as bad. Well, spatter you would get from what? You wouldn't uh, get from red ink. Well, that was uh, probably inexperience. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> moving it in the wrong direction or something, you know. <laughs> That's probably the case. Yeah. Um, but it was the old back in the day that it would clot up real bad. But I was using, I think I was using Speedball back then too. Yeah, I just don't like Speedball and some other ones. It was like um, some Chinese ink that some people use. I forget. Um, Sakura, maybe? Yeah, Sakura, I think. 
Um, I just, it's too dense. It's too, you know, it's not better for me. You know, if you can't work with it, then it defeats the purpose of, of doing good line work. You know, I do, I do want whatever I do to be as, you know, black as it possibly can. You know, because I like I like the finished artwork to look gorgeous. Um, you see, I'm yeah. No. Some inks too. When you go back and erase pencils, they just they don't yeah. uh, they pull off the paper really easy. Well, Pel Pelican isn't resistant to that, yeah. but, um, you know, eh, that's okay. You know, I yeah. don't mind going back. Touch-ups, yeah. Doing touch-ups. Um, what do you, you use to erase? Um, try to use the, uh, the gum eraser. This is what I use. Like, okay. Stadler. Mars plastic. Can you uh, uh, pick that up anywhere? Like Michaels or? I think um, I've seen those. I get it at the uh, Dick Blix online. Okay. The, you could probably find it at Michaels. I, I assume they have something like that. Those, you know, I. I actually I run without the case. It was just a, the eraser itself, um, and it was so worn down. And I was like, "What? What's the name? What's the brand name?" I totally forgot. <laughs> it's been years since I picked one up. Um, so I finally figured it out. It was this one, and so I picked up four of these. Uh, so that will last me a while. It's good to buy in bulk because you know. It's, it's, yeah, definitely. You know, running You're all like this stuff me. as an artist is horrible. You're like <laughs> me. Um, there's no art supply place anywhere in town. I have to go like a, an hour away. So that's what I do too. I just try to buy a book or order online, like you were saying. Yeah. Um, what is it? Uh, we have a copy center. You know, this is like a, a mom and pop copy center. Um, um, they do. I don't know. I, th I think they do business uh, deals or whatever. Like they sell copiers and stuff as well. Like there, there's two stores wide, and um, they have random stuff, art supplies. Um, but it's not always what I'm looking for. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I just go online and buy stuff. Um, I should, you know, I really want to stack up, but, you know, it's, I should probably pay bills first. Uh, man, don't worry about the bills. They'll work yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is coming. Everybody else will pay my bills, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I'm just I'm just like fooling around here now at this point. But I, I was uh, like doing just super clean lines with the quill. And if you get the ink right, right, and you get your point right, it's just really easy to do that. You know, it took me. So long in the beginning of working with a quill to be able to just do that, you know. Well, 
but it's fun. So you, you're 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 drawing I didn't do justice. <laughs> oh, you're fine, man. I I think it looks good. Oh. I, I like those those uh white eyes there. That reminds me how I used to draw him years ago. I'd have him one panel with no eyeballs. Which it was kind of like a just a visual statement, you know, when he was all dark and there like that. You would just see the slits of his eyes. I always thought that was cool, but I kind of got away from that because I'm like, well, he don't have eye eyeballs here, you know. The next panel he does. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, well, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll probably I'll, I'll try to get a blue line of it and I'll do a, a real justice wow. piece. My drawing looks like crap looking on the screen, but it actually looks a lot better in front of me here. Yeah, like I said, like, you know, hangouts and, and getting a good okay. um, So we, I had a couple comments from Kevin Phillips, who okay. maybe you know too. Uh, yeah. Uh, He's part of the R-Casters. He comments on a lot of our videos. Um, yeah, it was, this wasn't really, like, I know um, Jay, who's known as Airheads uh, Custom on, on YouTube, uh, <clears throat> signed up. And this wasn't really an invite kind of hangout. This was just going to be me and you. Yeah. Uh, so he's like, I'm here, or is it over? A story of my life, a day late in Dallas, <laughs> Um <clears throat> But uh, it's still going on, and we're doing it live. Uh, but he mentioned uh, Joe Cubit Online Art Supply. Oh, okay. A place to get the art supplies um, as well. I'm not sure if their prices, I think they're reasonable. I think Kevin uh, actually. I think it's. Did you say Kevin said that or? Kevin uh, Phillips. Yeah, he had left me a comment once and mentioned that about the brush. I think it was the brush you was talking about earlier. The uh, Raf Peel. Yeah, I think he was saying you could get it at the Kubert store. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah, because a, a lot of uh, comic book. Anchors I know use that, and and trust me when I say like, you know like, you can use a Winsor Newton and do insanely wonderful work. Um, but the first time I got my hands on a Raphael, and just started thinking and playing around with it, uh, it's a world of difference. It's, you know, it, it's like driving a bug and, and driving a Maserati. I, I don't know if <laughs> you know? Like uh, driving a Chevette, uh, driving a Corvette, maybe? That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it really blew my mind how much better and, and easier it was to produce insanely beautiful lines. Um, so maybe maybe I should pick one up somewhere down the line, but I, I just, you know, picked this one up not too long ago and I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> I got, I got the, the other Windsor Newton that I think I used for pretty much a year straight before it went bad. Oh, really? Uh, which is, for the life, lifetime of a brush, that's a lot longer than I have been getting. Uh, but I just left out with a really, really good brush. You know, every brush is different, you know. Because um, it's hair that's collected, and, <laughs> and it's just like, you know... No matter how mass produced it is, there's subtleties between each brush. Um, but I might try to re revive that brush as well, because I, I was really digging the lines. 
Capita. Do wow. um, I know Kevin Cross had done a video about uh, he had mentioned showing you us how to revive brushes, but uh, I don't think he got around to it on that episode. Um, what do you do to uh, revive them? Well, besides the uh, the brush cleaner, yeah. Um, like you mentioned, like sort of just water and, and soap. Um, and, you know, you got to be really careful. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but let's see. Um, if you can see this or just listen to my words. Um, <laughs> There's like a real clump of ink at sort of at the base of the the brushes, the the fibers, the hairs. Yeah. On the on the brush, um, I don't I don't mind a little bit of that. When it gets too far off the brush, then you lose the ability to do really big bold lines. Um, that's when you really you really need to soak it. Uh, the brush cleaner is perfect for that, but if you're just going to put it in water, um, somehow gizmo it up to where the brush is in the water, but not leaning up against the side of of a glass or anything. Yeah. You don't you don't want the 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 tip to be bent while it's resting in water because it will come out and it'll be a bent tip. Yeah, absolutely. It'll, it'll stay that way. Um, but yeah, just like mostly soaking it. Um, although uh, playing with it, just you know, dipping it in ink and 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 putting down lines. You twirl it on the page. You know, I'm lefty. It's different for righties. Uh, maybe there's a, a precise way of doing it uh, that I don't even know. Um, but, you know, I turn the point towards me and get, like I'm turning the brush in my direction. And I, I try to get a good point going. Like, this is the brush that really is dead at the moment. Um, which I could probably get better lines with the, than my new brush. But yeah, it kind of fizzles out after a little bit. Yeah. yeah I'm getting double lines. Um, this really has to be clean. There's too much ink gunk too far off the brush. So you, I have to what size that. is that? Is that a one or two? This is a two. Oh. Um, the new one I got is a two as well. Yeah, it's two I prefer, I guess. Um, I think I work with a one, and just you know, like, cause I do outlines with brush, and it wasn't giving me thick of a line, you know, so I think a two is better, you know, like you really do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, with a one, you could, you could probably do it, but you might have to use the whole brush. You know, I tend to use a lot of the tip. What I ink. <clears throat> you know, you can yeah. e even, it's a hard to explain, but you could even use the side of a brush to, like, yeah. get some thick lines. But yeah, this, this brush is dead, and it's, unless, you know, like, I even hate, um, filling in blacks uh, with a brush that 
is giving me crappy lines. You know? Yeah. I like to lay everything in perfectly. Um, so. <laughs> uh, Kevin said he wasn't looking to be on. Were we here? <laughs> you didn't miss us. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so, you know, it's. Uh, I I definitely want to get into a lot more of the specifics of inking. Uh, but I would like to to do it like this, like like um, uh, doing a hangout with you adds more to it. You know, it's more fun. Yeah. We interact. Um, it's, yeah, this is Kenny's piece. See if you could put bring it up to the camera a little bit, just okay. by hand. See if we could see it better. I really like the drawing. It's really hard to see the yeah, it is. See it in focus, but yeah, so. that <laughs> we'll see if uh, you know. Uh, yeah. So that's Kenny's, and this is my bad attempt. <laughs> I like this guy better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me of Nightwing a little bit. Yeah, whatever. It just or needs it a, his mask. Retro <laughs> kind of looks that way, doesn't he? Uh, I think he has yeah. more hair. Yeah. He, has, he has that 70s hair. <laughs> um, it's actually split in the middle. It's not a side part. Um. But yeah, so even though we haven't produced a, a fine works of art that you're able to uh, witness, uh, hopefully you, you enjoyed our uh, us rapping about uh, inking. Uh, um, you know, I will, like I said, do a, do a real tutorial um, somewhere down the line. She's got way too much on my plate, and holidays coming up, and uh, blah blah blah. Uh, but you can watch for my Inktober pieces. Um, the next one, I believe, is number nine. I'm going to be posting, and there's 31. I'll be doing a couple more pieces as well as a cover for when it's collected into a comic. Hopefully, I can get that done and published this year, uh, as well as my other book, Arena. But I thank you all for uh, who have been checking out my videos. Um, you know, I plan to eventually get into a real schedule with these, but, you know, you're getting our videos uh, all this month, so uh, I'm sure you're happy about it if you want, you know, if you like my stuff, then that's where you're coming here, Hippora. Um, what else do I want to mention? Oh, I got over 250, I think it's 257 subscribers now. Wow. Um, let's see. 257 subscribers at the moment. I just went over my... Uh, 10,000 views on my channel, which uh, thank you each and every one. That is awesome. Um, I would like a million views and uh, 100,000 subscribers, but, uh, you know, I, I take the long road. <laughs> I'm happy with the small improvement. <laughs> um, and also go check out Kenny Keene's channel which is uh, youtube.com slash user Kenny King slash Kenny King. And he has a new show that should be up tonight. 
drawing dead, as well as his uh, he's continuing his uh, 100 Days of Making Comics with uh, what's it called? Uh, after 100 Days of Making Comics. After 100 Days of Making Comics, so uh, that's uh, his weekly comic book update show. Uh, and you, you said something about doing a, a show about prints or just uh, random art videos and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about doing some uh, random stuff. Um, not exactly sure. Maybe uh, comic book making uh, tutorials, like from start to finish. But I don't I don't think I'll be doing them on a regular basis because uh, time just doesn't permit. Right. Well, you know, but, um, but somebody had asked me, you know, to do something like some that. Some YouTubers like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> some some YouTubers only post once a week or every other week. You know, uh, as long as you keep posting. Um, yeah. You know, there there are a lot of YouTube artists that I was following six months a year ago who don't post anymore. Um, so as long as you, you know, as long as you yeah. post every month, I think you're good, you know. I guess uh, uh, I'm going to see how the drawing dead thing goes first, and then I may branch out and do some more, some different stuff. Right. And, uh, and your comic publishing is called... It's uh, Midnight Horizon Comics. Uh, the website is midnighthorizoncomics.com. And you've got some horror anthologies? Uh, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, in the past, uh, I've did some horror anthologies. Um, the Slayer stuff, I'm redoing that now. Um, I'm working on a new horror anthology called After Midnight. It should be out, I would say, in about a month. I'm finishing things up on that now. And what's that called? Uh, After Midnight. Is the is the horror anthology's name? Yeah, yeah, it's the oh. uh, name of the anthology. It's a uh, it'll feature like three thirty. It's a thirty-two page book with three ten-page stories in it each uh, issue, and it'd pretty much be different writers and artists to uh, you know contribute to it. Well, I'll make sure to um, put your YouTube link as well as your uh, comic publishing link down below. All right, I appreciate it. And uh, uh, if you're watching, you got you know, it's like my YouTube channel has all my links, even uh, the newest one, which is me on Instagram. If you want to follow me there. Um, <laughs> I'll post things uh, like pretty much everywhere else. I'll probably, I'll try to do some exclusives for uh, Instagram. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> they say Instagram, you get a lot of hits. I, I haven't joined yet though, but I've heard of, you know, photos going viral. I mean, getting crazy amounts of uh, hits. Well, uh, it's it seems to do good for artists and. Uh, I just I just lucked out that uh, my girl Lisa got a new phone, and I'm able to uh, artwork up there now. Um, I definitely want to see if I can grow a following. I think I got like 40 people at the moment following me there. Cool. Um, so I'll just keep posting each day, and uh, you know, I definitely you know I want to get back to doing sketch cards on a regular basis. So. Uh, that'll give me an excuse. Do some new artwork, random characters and whatnot. <coughs> That's good. <coughs> I'm joking on myself. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> Why is you not getting sick? <laughs> no, no. Just swallowed the wrong way. Um... So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, you got something out of this and enjoyed it for what it was. Um, 
you know, we'll, we'll try to make the next one even better. Um, you want to come back, Kevin? <laughs> Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I might send Kevin back. I don't know about Kenny. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we can try it again. Um, let me get <laughs> let me get a uh, better. We'll try it. On, <laughs> uh, well, we can try it on Skype. Maybe like maybe the camera you got will work better on that for some reason. Okay, we can give it a shot. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, maybe we'll try it during uh, one of our, our Skype chats just to see if uh, the camera comes in good or something. Okay, sounds good, um, man. Yeah, so maybe Thursday. Uh, I think I'm I'm just doing one day, one day a week with those for the moment. So okay. I clear a lot of work, you know. Plus I I did you know like I said in the beginning of the video. Uh, I did some graphic design and I did some character sketches, both of which I might have to do follow-ups on. Well, definitely the character designs. I, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on that this week. <clears throat> yeah. So I, a lot of things are taking me away from, from my <laughs> my own work, but uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to keep uh, that. As long as it helps pay the bills, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's 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 like uh, part of me thinks, why didn't I do this years ago? You know, um, <laughs> but also part of me knows that, like, yeah, it's it's. I don't like. You know, everybody's like really picky and specific, and you know, I like to be able to do what I want to do, essentially. Which yeah. is why we're self-publishers, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> so it's just a matter of making that really bring in the money. So, but uh, okay. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the comic book inking tutorial with Peter Palmiati and Kenny Keen. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, you know, we'll, I'll put an event. Uh, when I knew no another one is going to happen, uh, but meanwhile, enjoy my other videos and and definitely go to Kenny's uh, YouTube and subscribe there uh, and become a fan of all that he does as well. All right, people, good night. Just bump. <laughs> <laughs>